16, right? And the minute the establishment's candidate looks like he's in trouble, do they turn to any of the 16? No. They're turning to Mitt Romney. Now, what does that tell you? It's more than what's obvious to you. It tells you that as far as the Republican Party official them, the RNC, whether the establishment, whatever you want to call them, those candidates are up there not to really win. They're up there to split the anti-Bush vote. They're up there to soak up all of the money Bush doesn't get. And then they are there to drop out eventually when they don't do well, when they can't raise enough money because all of it goes to Jebicus. That's the original strategy. Bush going to soak up all the money, making it impossible for the others to run. This was the strategy before Trump got it. And the, the Republican establishment actually hoped for and wanted a lot of candidates. They, I, for example, I think Lindsey Graham announcing was strictly Republican Party tactics. Lindsey Graham knows he's not going to be elected. Lindsey Graham knows he's not going to be nominated. But in South Carolina, he could do something. He could help siphon some money away from Bush. See, so you, you've got... The point is that you've got Bush, the establishment guy, and you've got some junior establishment guys up there. The junior establishment guys are all there to protect Jeb by taking money and votes away from the others who are not part of this. The Carsons, the uh, Scott Walkers, uh, Christie's, I don't know, Christie might be the I'm not sure, but, but the, the, you have some genuine conservative candidates here. The, the Republican establishment is the more the merrier. Because the more I'm in there, the more the vote is split. Jeb gets all the money. You got people like Lindsey Graham and Pataki, some of these others in there, establishment candidates to surround Jeb and protect him. But now Jeb's in trouble. And the very fact that the RNC and some of the money people don't want to go to some of these survivors are already announced, they want to go back to Mitt, what does it tell you? Well, it tells you a lot. But the last best hope is 2012's loser as opposed to one or two of the others who have announced who have been campaigning who have been on the stump who have been raising money who have been not making speeches who hmm. are making their case no we gotta if Jeb doesn't make it, if the money leaves, and we got to get somebody in there to replace Jeb that's going to hold on to the money, and that's going to be Romney. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I, I'm just... Mediocrity is not an option. Rush on the EIB network. You, yes, you, are at risk of identity theft. A new identity theft takes place every two seconds. Each time you put your personal information out there by shopping or giving out your social security number, you increase the risk. And then there's the inevitable data breach. That's why I trust LifeLock. LifeLock goes beyond free services that simply monitor credit from detecting threats to helping resolve issues if your identity is ever compromised. Now, no one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions in all businesses, but LifeLock has proprietary technology to detect threats and a dedicated resolution staff to help restore your good name. You have only one identity. Protect it with the best. LifeLock. Protection starts at just $9.99 a month. Call or visit LifeLock.com now. Use promo code RUSH. That's RUSH for my special 10% discount. Call 800-440-4833. That's 800-440-4833. Are you better than average at fantasy football? Yeah? Well, thanks to FanDuel.com's one-week 50-50 fantasy football leagues for real money, you can prove it. 50% of teams in these leagues win real money. And get this, FanDuel fantasy football leagues last just one week. Finish anywhere in the top half of FanDuel's 50-50 fantasy football leagues, and you're a winner. You'll win almost double your money.
your money and get your cash immediately. Plus, with no season-long commitment at FanDuel, you only play when you want. So, Mr. Above Average Fantasy Football Player, what are you waiting for? Right now, FanDuel is offering you free entry into a one-week 50-50 money league. Finish in the top half and you'll win instant cash. No strings attached. But hurry, this amazing offer ends this Friday. The only way to get free entry into a one-week 50-50 fantasy football league is to go to FanDuel.com, click on the radio microphone in the upper right corner, and use the promo code for... Atlantic Airlines is committed to diversity. I mean, who would have ever thought they would make me, Miles Mason, your pilot? <laughs> I mean, just yesterday, I was serving sodas and pretzels in the... I washed out at Bob's School of Flight, so this is a real dream come true for me. Uh, if anyone is interested in landing this baby, come on up here and read the manual. <laughs> We've got 15 minutes before touchdown. Where will you be the next time diversity strikes? Welcome to America's favorite new game show. I'm richer than you are. I'm richer than you are. Here's your host, Bill Clinton. The show where ordinary Americans are used to illustrate my success. Let's meet our first contestant, Tim Jones, a feed salesman from Topeka, Kansas. So how are things in Topeka, Tim? Well, the tax cuties really helped my business, and, uh, of course, I didn't need a tax cut. And do you know why, Tim? I, uh... Because I'm richer than you are! Next is Cindy from Cincinnati. Now, I bet you're glad to get those kids back to school, huh? Oh, yeah, and the school voucher program really helps out. Uh... But I don't need a voucher program, Cindy. In fact, I didn't send my kid to public school in Washington. Do you know why? Because I'm richer, richer than, than you are. are! In fact, I got paid more money to speak to the Indonesian Grocers Association than you'll make in your entire lifetimes combined. Join me here every week so I can remind you I'm richer than you are! Everybody I know is being treated for something. Do you feel left out? My best buddy is bipolar. My kids have ADHD. My wife has adult anxiety. Do you feel isolated? I talk to psychologists, psychotherapists, even a psychic. But nobody can figure it out. Looking for answers? They all told me there's absolutely nothing wrong with you. I was crushed. You might have disorder anxiety disorder. Syndrome caused by the realization that you are completely normal. Ask your doctor about Placebex or nothing at all. So you can have a syndrome to call your own. Placebex and nothing at all. New from Smith Klein Blarney. is Washington State University where that wacko racist professor is. Story we just had. Now, on the Romney business, in, in all candor, folks, it's not really the RNC yet. It's a bunch of donors. It's a handful of donors that are getting nervous about Jeb. And they're, they're floating. The donors are. And, and by the way, the donor class, as you know, carries a lot of weight in the Republican Party. And some of the donor class are suggesting that, you know, maybe the fallback here is Mitt Romney. And the media would love that. I mean, my God, they already know how to destroy the guy. Just add to what they did back in 2012. They'd salivate over there to eat that up. So the media hears that the donor class, some of them, are dreaming of uh, Mitt Romney running. And so they're... They're amplifying this, but so far I don't think it's. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how involved with the party is in this. My guess is some at the party level would probably think it's a good idea. I guarantee you, there's they start getting nervous out there over uh, some of the money threatening to leave Jeb. Let me let me grab a couple of calls here, and we'll get to the Trump ad against Jeb and Jeb's reaction to it. Here's Rob in Loudoun County, Virginia. I'm glad you waited, sir. You're up next on the program. Hi. Okay. Hey. Well, hey, make it count. Yeah. I, want, yeah. I, wanted to, I wanted to point out to you that you're staying a lot of time today on Terry. They're very wise. But you got to look at what's behind that, and she's not running. And nobody's talked about 
the real rock star that you see in all of this would be Terry McCollum, because he's likely to be on the vice, as the vice president candidate for her, and more than, capable, more than capable of debating anyone on any front, fast on his feet, and everybody would tell you a lot of things about Terry McCollum, a lot of people don't like him, but he is incredibly bright. He won a uh, governor, uh, the governor's race, and currently serves in the governor of Virginia, his wife, is very involved in military wives, and I, nobody talks about this. If Terry were to drop out, this guy is so it's a great loyal supporter of her forever. He said, we put up money for him to buy a house, and they left the White House. He went on and won and lost the first one uh, in uh, the first one in the uh, uh, Dupertorial Lake. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I know all about this guy and the houses he bought people and the money he raised for others to buy houses and and then got Gary Winnick, who owns that 60 million place out in Bel Air that this guy was involved, getting him some money, $15 billion when he ran a company. I know all about this guy. I just hadn't heard that he's thinking about throwing his hat in this room. No, no he, he's not. Nobody's talking about it, but he has not point. My point is that something would have happened to Humphrey Clinton. He would be the dope guy. He's young. He's innovative. He's energetic. He's smart. He's a great guy. Nobody talks about him. He's got a great job. So he's part of the attorney general's password. Wait a second. Uh, Are you in this guy's camp? No, sir. I'm not a Democrat. You're not a Democrat. Okay, because I, I, you know, the, the, the popular name being bandied about should Hillary stumble here is Biden. It's uh, a fact. He will be the secret sauce. Because if he's the only guy that would ever be capable of you know, Trump, I mean, give me a break. This guy is smooth. You have got to be. I just can't. I can't. I mean, I can. It's okay, you don't have to agree with that. Just wait and see. Well, I, it makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? You don't have to think out with any energy. No, I can't. I can't I, uh, my, my problem with this is that I, I can't see a back alley thug being considered uh, a. Anyone in Virginia? What does it tell you? Is a back alley thug going to win in Virginia? Yeah, but. Let me tell you something. He, hang on a second. He won, he won in Virginia because the Republican Party sold out and didn't get behind Cuccinelli because Cuccinelli is conservative. That, that victory is not all on McAuliffe. He had a lot of help from the RNC on that. Sad to say, folks. Sad, sad to say. What do you think the odds are that the chief elects the last presidential candidate if she makes it? It's not the <laughs> McAuliffe to be her vice presidential running mate? Then we have officially become a crime government. I mean, I, this is, I'm going to have to process this. Of all the names that I've not considered, it's this one. What do you need to hear when you turn on the radio? Katy Perry. I'm okay with looking a little insane. Maybe the morning yucca bumps. That's right, my friend. Funny hats in the mornings. Well, that's fine if that's what you want. But maybe you want to hear the latest news. What the right traffic design for the smart Sony is in talk radio. That's where we come in. Every weekday, 6 to 9 a.m. Orlando's News, Weather and Traffic on News Radio 1025 WFLA and still on AM 540. initial crime scene, but they're just not saying what it is. Police are keeping up their presence on the streets. Everywhere you go, you see patrol cars, but there's also a lot of water around here. The Marine unit is also beefing up their presence. Fox's Matt Finn. How about a lost dog story with a happy ending? An Australian shepherd named Jade had gone missing in Yellowstone National Park 43 days ago. Jade took off when the car she was in got into a wreck. Owner David Sellers and his girlfriend of Denver were both hurt in that accident, but this week Sellers and his girlfriend went on the hunt in the park again. A black and white flash came running to them. It was Jay. Fox Radio's Jill Nader. Uh, Fox Gil News. We report you. So many things we hear about today are simply beyond reason. Brought to you by Doc Streetside Grill. And if they decide to get rid of force all of a sudden se you're going to have to get down the left. Left. All, all the people who supported the gay marriage decision are going to be saying, 
How could the Supreme Court do this? They have too much power. Beyond Reason with Michael Gaffey. Friday night today on News Radio 1025 WFLA. If you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan, like me, coming home can be harder than expected. But it turns out I wasn't alone. At IAVA.org, there's a free online community of thousands of vets who've got your back. Whether it's managing the transition home or everyday stuff like finding a nice sweater for my dog. Sweater? <laughs> okay, maybe not that. Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America is there for you. Join our community at IAVA.org. We got your back. Brought to you by IAVA and the Ad Council. Whether you're traveling on vacation or business, the National Invasive Species Council advises not to bring back uninspected produce, meat, plants, or firewood. You could be bringing back destructive pests that threaten not only plants, but animals and humans as well. And the same goes for packages from abroad. It's just not a good idea to receive uninspected packages of food or plants from anywhere. So whatever you do, just remember, don't pack a pest. For more information, visit www.invasivespecies.gov. For the people in our military, it's a time of sacrifice and duty. That's why all four military aid societies have joined together to 